Do you want to learn how to limit the movement of a motor, a pneumatic cylinder, a linear motor, a door, a conveyor belt between two points? Then this is a video you should watch from start to the very end because at the end of this tutorial you will be able to design and program the most complex automation system. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Ladder Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, for microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. Welcome back. Before we start designing and programming, first let me show you some industrial processes so that you can have an idea what exactly I'm talking about and what exactly we are going to accomplish at the end of this tutorial. Well, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can limit the movement of any mechanical system, maybe that's a motor or any other thing between two points like specifying the the rightmost limit or the leftmost limit or the upper limit the down limit it can be any two limits so the machine you are watching on the screen is a fully automatic plastic injection molding machine and such machines are used throughout the world for making plastic products so these machines are designed in a way that it repeats the same process again and again so that's why these machines also make use of the limit switches. So these two black boxes as you can see on the screen are actually the two limit switches and these are the roller type limit switches while the one I'll be using is a lever type but the functionality of both the limit switches is exactly the same. So as you can see the uh, the operator is actually activating a limit switch then start the upward direction and when the another limit switch is activated then it stops there so this way you can set the upper limit of the uh, injector this is an automatic door opening system when the doors open completely then a limit switch is activated and the motor stops as you can see the whole process so this is a fully automatic conveyable system in which two limit switches are installed one on the right side of the box and another one on the left side of the box so when the limit switch is activated it actually uh, changes the polarity of the motor and then starts rotating in the reverse direction and this process is repeated again and again so this is the type of the limit switch that i'll be using today and please don't confuse this uh, limit switch with the ones you watch in the video because all of these limit switches has the same functionality and as you can see there is a, a small circuit over here so according to this circuit this is the common and this is the normally closed as you can see there is a line from the common to this contact so this is the normally closed and this one is the normally open so there is a small schematic okay and if you don't have this uh, limit switch as you can see this is a lever type limit switch and uh, in the plastic injection molding machine there was a roller type limit switch you can also make your own limit switch so it doesn't uh, like it is not it's not necessary that you only use this type of limit switch even you can use a simple push button as a limit switch right now i have only one limit switch add so many limit switches but i used it in different projects so some limit switches are used in panel cleaning uh, projects and other are used in solar trackers so right now i have only one limit switch and it's more than enough for me to to show you how to connect a limit switch and how to do the programming and how it, it can be used so it's enough for me so before i can use this uh first of all i will solder two wires the one with the common and the other one with the normally open so once i am done with the soldering then I will do the interfacing and write a basic program and show you how it can be used to control a process. 
so now as you can see I have soldered to where is the one with the common contact of the limit switch and this wire is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino and the other wire is connected with the normally open contact of the limit switch and this wire is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino now we will write a very simple and a very basic program to demonstrate how a limit switch is actually used is I told you that right now I'm having only one limit switch so I will just consider a process in which we need only one limit switch which I will tell you during during the programming so now let's start the programming now let's suppose we have a process in which we have to monitor the door of a machine so when the when the door is closed the machine works in a normal way and when the door is open the machine is supposed to stop working so for this we will be needing only one limit switch and that limit switch will be used to detect whether the door is closed or the door is open so when the door is closed the limit switch will be activated and it will signal the microcontroller that door is closed and the machine can run in a normal way and when we open the door it will uh, signal a high it will it will signal the microcontroller that now the door is open and the machine is supposed to stop working so now how to do this actually for this we will need a program so let's start uh, the programming so this is uh, the program uh, which I'll be used to explain the process so I started with uh, declaring some variables integer L switch equals to 2 so L switch means that this is the limit switch and which is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and integer LED equal to 3 so we'll use the Arduino LED which is connected with pin number 13 a built-in LED and we will use this LED to demonstrate a, a normal process so when the door will be closed this LED will be blinking and when the door will be open this LED will be an off state and it will also print on the serial monitor that the door is open and integer flake equals to zero so we'll be using a flake to stop the unnecessary repetition of code if you want to learn uh, how to use flakes in Arduino and in, in, in very detailed way then you can watch my tutorial on how to use flakes in Arduino okay each and every Arduino and Mega has at least two functions uh, which are the white setup and a white loop now the white means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses uh, shows that this function is not taking any arguments as inputs so serial dot begin first of all we activate the serial communication and the board is it is 9600 then we use the pin mode function and L switch input so as we are using the limit switch for detecting that a door is open or closed which is an input device so we have used it over here like input and pin mode LED output it's an output device so that's it and then starts the wire so one more thing about the wire setup that when we start the microcontroller or the Arduino it executes only one time and the while loop executes infinite times so if digital read limit switch equals equals low uh, if you remember in the beginning I told you that I have connected the common with the uh, ground pin of the Arduino so when the uh, limit switch is activated actually the normally open pin of the limit switch is sh uh, then shorted with the common pin of the limit switch so and the limit and, and the common pin is already connected with low so it will signal low to the microcontroller so when the limit switch is on it will send a low signal to the microcontroller that the limit switch is activated so if digital read so if digital read L switch equals equals low check if the limit switch is activated and the flag is equal to is equal to zero so the flag is already set to zero then serial dot print the door is closed the door is in closed form and flag is equal to 1 and delay is 20 milliseconds which is such a very small delay if digital read L switch equals equals to high so check if the limit switch is, 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 is not active is, is open and flag is equal to is equal to 1 
in serial dot print door is open flag is equal to zero and delay okay so if flag is equal to is equal to one it means if the door is closed so if the door is closed uh, we blink the LED turn on and turn off LED after every one second so 1000 milliseconds equal to one second if flag equal equals one check if the door is open then LED is low and it should write L switch equal high so now let's upload this program okay so now as you as you can see on the screen the program is uploaded and now you can see that it now it indicates that the door is open as the limit switch is open so when I press it so now as you can see the LD is blinking which shows normal operation and when I release it it stops working so let me show you on the serial monitor okay now the door is open so the LED is not working so we, we can imagine that the machine is not working okay so when the door is closed now you can see on the serial monitor as well that door is closed now and now the machine is working in a normal way and when I release this you can see over here the door is opened and now the LED is not working so this way we can use a limit switch to detect whether the door is open or closed and in, 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 in the same way we can specify other limits like the lower limit or the upper limit so it depends on for what purpose you're going to use a limit switch so this is one of the uses so in this sub uh, in, in, in this tutorial you can just imagine that we have used this for the for the for, for the protection purposes if you like my video subscribe to my channel like and share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching